Hi, it's Tony from Sailing LRA and tonight I wanted to review my Victron Energy Solar Charge Controllers. Um, oh, I've got nothing but good things to say, so if you wanted to hear some negative things about Victron Energy, it's time to switch off. Um, I have three sources of power on my boat. I have the sails, of course. I have the diesel engine, and the electricity um, is the third source of power. And uh, it's important that um, I harness the sun as as best I can. Um, we all know that uh, overcast conditions, and particularly uh, during winter months, um, having a solar panel on the roof is no good unless you can get the power into the batteries. So I've just made a little list, and I hope you don't mind me referring to uh, to that. So efficiency, I was just speaking on that. Efficiency is something that is absolutely vital in order to get the most out of the sun. And um, so one of the criteria was that the, the charge controller had to be highly efficient. And the MPPT format uh, and the Victron Energy um, products are very, very efficient. Usability, and I'm actually gonna combine uh, the third point, which is connectivity, uh, into that. So usability, first and foremost, uh, easy to set up, easy to connect, uh, very, very simple. The uh, connectivity of the smart products from Victron Energy, um, as you'll see in the following video, uh, cannot be uh, seconded. They just, uh, just, just fantastic. And um, I'm able to use all of my Victron Energy products um, seated with my phone. Uh, just, just very, very simple. So uh, for those three reasons, um, I cannot recommend highly enough. Uh, the Victron Energy products that I'm using uh, and for this review the solar charge controllers. If you like the video please click the like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, enjoy the video. Talk to you soon. Bye. My main charge controller on the boat is the MPPT 100 slash 20. Now those numbers, the first number refers to the maximum panel voltage and the second number is the rated charge current. The second one I have has a slightly reduced capability. Uh, it's the 7515 but it still works perfectly uh, for the reasons that I need it for. What you'll notice on the uh, panel there is the connectivity and you can see at the bottom right hand corner is where all of your products are. Uh, are attached via the wires they go up through the bottom of the product uh, you can see that there are four mounting screw holes there's also some LEDs on the right hand side there for uh, indications a couple of friends have decided to join me So what we're going to do here is we're going to demonstrate a few things um, on the smart solar controller. First thing I'm going to do, um, you can see here at the top is um, the actual name of the controller. I'm going to change that so it's something that I can um, I can read. And I'm going to go into the settings page. Let's go back there again. Hit the settings cog there at the top. Go to the three dots on the far right there. Uh, product info is where we want to go to and you can so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to here where it says custom name and I'm going to edit that I'm just going to call this one outboard so I'm going to OTB T B I'll place I'll call that to on charger it's nice and easy 
Okay, and you can see there that the custom name has changed. Let's go back into our settings again. We look here at battery. Now, I'll only be charging or using this charge controller for uh, lithium battery, but with my main one on the boat, um, I actually use, uh, well, I use it to charge two different types of batteries, an AGM and, a, and a, a lithium battery. So if I go into battery, and I go to battery preset, you can see that I've got this one set up already for smart lithium. But if I just click on that one and go to select preset, then I've got a choice. I've, I've already selected smart lithium, but if it was to be any of the other ones, uh, AGM um, or whatever you like uh, from that selection, it's all there. And what that does is it sets up all the parameters. You can see that the parameters uh, are already set up there. Um, <clears throat> The maximum charge is there. There is an expert mode if you want to go in and change a few things, um, but you can see the battery voltage is all there, maximum charge current, all that kind of stuff. If I go back out again of settings, you can see, and I've just got um, a 30 watt uh, Victron solar panel and it's producing six watts at the moment. That's the voltage going into the battery. The battery's, um, well and truly charged so it's showing the state of absorption there you can have a look in the history there um, I've only just plugged this in um, but you can see um, what maximum um, the uh, panel has yielded maximum voltage um, trends if you like you can change the parameters there uh, it's something I, I don't really use uh, mainly I look at the status and um, yeah that's basically what I use it for but I find this really really helpful and I don't have all my um, all my uh, products here obviously because most of them are on the boat but you can see I've got the outboard monitor there which is a smart shunt and I'm probably not going to get no it's not going to connect because I just don't have the strength of uh, Bluetooth signal for that one um, but what I also have um, here at home is my home charger um, and it's a really good uh, a really good thing to have all your different products set up so when I'm on on the boat I'll have all of these products just just lined up and I can just flick between uh, uh, you know from one to the other and it's just a really really handy thing to have if I can just add a little little cautionary tale when you purchase a Victron Energy product, in the box uh, there is a small sticker that is in the bottom and it, that it, it contains the uh, product number, so the, the serial number of the product and a code. Um, please keep that sticker, <laughs> put it somewhere safe. The reason I say that is because recently I updated my phone and I had to get all my Victron Energy products to talk to this new phone. And in order to do that, I had to enter the serial number, a correction, the um, code, the, the access code for all my products. And I had stupidly thrown away the sticker. So I had to <laughs> unscrew the product, look at the, look at the back of it, and enter the, enter the, uh, enter the uh, access codes after that it was just a bit of a nuisance so if you are buying Victron Energy products uh, look for that little sticker put it somewhere safe so you won't have any problems like I did